for second range. Ray Dunlap. Well, Rick, you were talking about a lot of people rooting for Mike Ornette. I think there's a lot of people here rooting for Matt Carter also. If you look at the back quarter panel on that number 46, you'll see a company that you might not be familiar with. It's called Stein, and Stein is out of Adel, Iowa, and they're in the business of planting soybeans. And the yellow has come out right now, and I can promise you we're going to see that 16, the 46, and also that two car, our front runners on pit road. We'll give you more about that sponsorship here in just a bit. Yeah, Ray, as you were talking about that 46 of Matt Carter, it was Ricky Stenhouse Jr. that got into the wall in turn three. And problems continuing for this young man in the Roush Fenway stables as yeah. he spun in practice earlier today. Yeah, quite a bit of damage this time, though. He did get into the outside wall. I, was, I looked up just as he was going through turn number four, and there was some contact with another vehicle that turned Ricky around, and he backed in the car and then swung around and caught the left run as well. So a lot of damage to that Ford Fusion. He was running in the 15th spot when the, well, when the accident happened. So obviously problems. Let's go down trackside Jim Trado. Guys, he was not saying a single word on the first part of this race other than the car was a bit tight. No indication from Stein, Stenhouse, the driver, on what happened there, but the car down with heavy left rear damage. He backed in the fence there, as you may have seen, but the left front is also damaged. They're trying to get tires on the car first, then they'll try to align it. They've got a fender damage on the left front. They're pulling that away on this Roush Fenway Ford. And let's check in with Ray as these guys continue to hammer down. 